For this job, you're going to need a large C-clamp, a ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket on it, a small pry bar, an 11 16th or 17 millimeter uh, wrench, but it has to be thin. Uh, uh, it looks like about a quarter of an inch. Uh, you're also going to need your uh, lug wrench. I definitely recommend a, a jack stand and a hydraulic jack. You may need some blocks to sit the jack on if your uh, jack doesn't reach high enough to lift your truck. Additionally, you might want to have a container on hand to put your lug nuts and bolts in. I like to keep one uh, so I don't lose them. Uh, make sure you have all of these things before starting this because once you take this tire off, you aren't going to be able to go anywhere. All right, today we have a 2010 Dodge Ram 1500. We're changing out the brakes. First thing you want to do is, of course, jack up the truck and use your support stands to support it so it doesn't fall on you accidentally. These things aren't known for holding up the weight of the truck or holding it up all the time so well they roll. So you'll want that in place. Take off the tire and you're left with this. As you can see, we definitely need to change out our brakes there. All right, next, we're gonna loosen this bolt and this bolt. They're located on the back. Those are your caliper bolts. That's so you can loosen up and remove Just to save uh, you some time. This is a 13 millimeter bolt. At this point, you may need to use your 17 millimeter or 11 16 uh, wrench to hold on to the nut that is on uh, that turns with the bolt. Next you just uh, pry this whole assembly off of uh, your brake pad and I am just gonna set that inside there for a second. Yeah you just use a screwdriver get right inside here and just use some leverage to pull that off of there. Next you remove the pads and really all you gotta do is just kind of pull this out and make sure you don't break these clips because you're gonna need those. Taking those clips off is pretty simple. You just kind of slide them off just like so. As you can see I can even do it one handed. And then you just put them on the new brake pad as you can see here. Yeah, you just slide them onto the new brake pad and then you're done with that part. And you take your brake pad. Take your new brake pad, I should say. And you just kind of fit it in place. And push it down on there. Repeat that same step for the other side. The next thing we're going to do is uh, move the caliper pistons back so you can fit it over this big area because uh, it's used to having thin pads on it so the, uh, the caliper pistons are out, right? So you want to push those back in without damaging them. And what, we, what I did is I used the old brake pads with, uh, with the pad side toward the piston as you can see there and I did the same thing on the back just so it evenly spreads uh, the the pressure that I'm putting on it to move these things back uh, and really all you gotta do is just turn that and it'll it'll push them back itself so now once you've gotten those uh, pushed back and you just kind of fit this in place. Make sure you push these screws back so they can clear them. All right. And you just get those in place. We have our two screws right here. So we're just gonna get those right back in there.
There we go. Yeah, you just put those screws back on there. Then you're gonna need to tighten it up, of course, same way you took it off. So I'm gonna take my wrench again and put it there. And then I'm gonna take my ratchet and tighten it up. Then you get put your tire on and you should be good.